Okay, if your truck burns a little oil, you're gonna replace them. I got these PVC valves, and it takes two of them in the Land Rover. They're just little PVC valves. And this happens and smokes the engine a little bit when it starts, and that's what you'll get. So, we are going to change those today. Let me get you a better picture. Uh, you're going to take a little knife and you're going to move this hose out of the way and they're right here on the left side of your engine and essentially you're just going to pop those little caps let me get a regular small screwdriver all right let's try this let's see if i can just pry it open be careful not to snap the little hooks there because you need them. See? I already broke one of the hooks. I didn't break the snap. I just broke the little end on it. Maybe it is better for them to be so brittle. So you can at least get it off. something like this ha huh, that one broke too this is essentially it you got a spring you got a little pad and you see right there I already broke three of them four of them just taking it off this is the PVC valve. If you start getting smoke rolling out the back, this is why. It sits there just like that. Let me see if I can get the other one out. There we go. Broke off. And then there's your spring. There's your spring. See these little tabs just break off. They're so brittle. They just break off. This one has a lot of oil in it. This is not very flexible anymore. But yep. Yeah. This one's not that bad. It's a little hard. But, we're going to put new ones in. They don't cost that much. This is what you get for new ones. Essentially, you're just going to put it in the, in the little groove there. See your little groove. You'll put it in the groove, and then you go put the spring right there in the middle. So you put the spring in first, just like that. There's the other one. Kind of take the spring. Essentially, you have to take the spring, put it in there, just like that. And then, you, and then you got to take the piece with the rubber, just like that. And you're gonna put it right in the middle. And then you got to turn it. So that it's able to snap and just pretty much just push it on there and that's it so let me show you a little closer so all I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna center it inside the middle see like that if you can see that so I'll center it and then I'm gonna push it down and I'm gonna turn this until the little tabs line up There's one there one there all the way around so and then you just snap it in just make sure it's snapped 
all the way around like that and then you make sure the other ones are snapped all the way around wiggle it a little bit and that is your pvc done these are the crap ones yeah sometimes these get really hard and brittle like that one, that's kind of hard that one's kind of hard uh, but you want to change these out every so often I'm not going to tell you how often it depends on the fuel but it seems like when you start getting some oil coming out your tailgate tail pipe when you start getting a little bit of oil coming out of your tailpipe and you can see it on startup then that's when you want to change it all right and they're inexpensive they're not that expensive to change so basically you just break it put it back together all right 